you might believe that the wealthy enjoy spending their money. After all, their massive wealth, they can buy everything and anything that they want. However, nothing could be further from the truth. Majority of the rich are quite meticulous when handling their finances. They are aware of where their money is going and what they should not do with it. They rarely waste money on items and services that do not provide a good return on investment. So in today's video, let's uncover the 11 types of expenses rich people would never pay. Welcome to Thrive Tastic. If you're new here, why not hit that subscribe button and join our community. And as always guys, give this video a thumbs up for that YouTube algorithm. Number 1. Lottery Tickets First on our list of terrible expenses rich people never pay would be lottery tickets. Don't play if you really want to be rich. The lottery is the definite way to lose money quickly, and the wealthy don't make a weekly routine to visit the convenience store lotto line. They wouldn't want to waste their money, effort, and time on it and leave everything to chance. Did you know your odds of winning the Powerball jackpot are 1 in 292 million? That's less than 1%. Do not be tricked into believing that the chances are on your side. A Powerball ticket costs $2, which doesn't seem like much until you do the math. If you play for a year and buy two tickets every time you go to the store, you'll have wasted around $624 in a year. These figures are likely to shock you, but there are better ways to invest that $624 and ensure a profit. Don't squander your hard-earned cash on a game of chance when you could be saving for retirement or university fees. For instance, if you invest that $624 yearly and assume a 5% return, in 25 years, you'll have $30,582.29. Number 2. TV Channels and Video Games Rich individuals did not become wealthy by lounging on the couch all day and staring at a screen. Those are typical hobbies of the average people that do more harm than good to productivity. It is extremely rare to discover wealthy individuals squandering money on huge TV bundles or the latest video games. According to Nielsen statistics from 2015, adults in households with annual incomes less than $25,000 spend significantly more time consuming media, either through TV, video games, or the radio than adults in homes with annual incomes greater than $75,000. These results show that lower-income households use more devices than higher-income households. This is consistent with Thomas Carley's book, Rich Habits. According to the book's results, 67% of wealthy people do not watch television. As for video games, the rich also do it. However, don't consider video gaming for fun and gaming for work to be the same. After all, some people make a lot of money just by sitting in front of a computer all day. Number 3. Impulsive Buys In the eyes of ordinary people like you and me, the rich may seem to be spending a ridiculous amount of money on something. However, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the rich are very meticulous about their finances. That's why, even if it may seem that they are spending a huge sum of money, it is usually only after thorough planning and budgeting. Surprisingly, they are quite frugal when it comes to other things. Can you believe Bill Gates wears a $10 watch? Warren Buffett also eats the same breakfast at McDonald's every day, and it never costs more than $3.17. The list could go on and on. But one thing to keep in mind is that the wealthy individuals do not become wealthy by spending all of their money. Consider the following examples. Have you ever gone into a store planning to buy one item only to leave with a cart full of other items? Maybe there was a buy one get one free deal at the grocery store and you ended up buying a few extra products. Perhaps you purchased designer shoes during a flash sale on your favorite apparel website. Whatever the case may be, this is not a shopping habit of the wealthy. Wealthy individuals are planners, and impulsive purchases do not fit with their characteristics. Impulsive spending leads to waste, overspending, and debt. 
all of which successful individuals avoid. They understand better than anyone that by shopping wisely, they can achieve a lifestyle that will enhance their earnings. Number 4. Keeping up with trends Peer pressure or societal pressure to keep up can be true, but the fact is that you don't have to go into debt just to keep up with trends. Your friends, neighbors, or colleagues may have the latest quote-unquote must-have tech gadget, but that doesn't mean you have to have one as well. You'll discover that these people can't even afford these gadgets and are subjected to the same pressure you're attempting to avoid. Wealthy people understand that the concept of a well-lived life is relative. You will discover that millionaires do not even own the most recent iPhone despite the fact that they can afford an entire shop if they so desire. In other words, your personal reality matters more than public impression. Determine how you want your life to look today and in the future and allow no one to make that decision for you. Number 5. Extended warranties somewhere along the line. If you purchase a new 4K TV, you were most likely asked, would you like to purchase an extended warranty? However, a financially successful individual has a clear answer to that question. No, according to consumer reports. Although customers want to get the best deal possible when they buy things, extended warranties don't always provide that. According to consumer reports, companies give 50% or more of the fees they charge for extended warranties. Extended warranties aren't something that wealthy people buy. So what do the wealthy do? They are doing research and you should follow their example. Check your manufacturer's warranty, for example, before agreeing to an extended warranty. You could have a greater coverage than you might think. Also, weigh the expense of potential repairs against the cost of an extended warranty. You'd be better off saving the money you'd spend on the extended warranty to cover future repairs yourself. So the next time a salesperson attempts to sell you an extended warranty, just say no. Number 6. Inflated Interest Rates The wealthy aim to keep their credit score as high as possible in order to avoid paying exorbitant interest rates on loans. Credit scores play a significant part in setting your interest rate for auto loans, mortgages, and other types of loans. You can save hundreds or thousands of dollars in interest over the life of a loan simply by having higher credit score. People with low credit scores, on the other hand, may be unable to obtain loans at all. Financially successful people maintain their credit card reports by paying payments on time, keeping that slow, and correcting errors on their credit reports. And if you currently have a good credit history but are carrying a balance on several credit card accounts, consider contacting the card issuers to request a greater credit limit. A greater limit reduces the percentage of available credit you use and may improve your credit score. The lower your interest rate, the faster you can pay off your debts. Number 7. Luxury Brands Although you may notice a lot of designer labels on the red carpet, many wealthy people do not buy designer labels for every purchase. They understand that just because they have the money to splurge at luxury goods doesn't always mean they should. In fact, Ingvar Kamprad, the founder of IKEA, apparently told reporters that he doesn't wear anything that isn't from a flea market in order to set a good example. And Bill Gates admitted that he still wears a $10 watch despite being able to buy a closet full of Rolexes. So, what do the wealthy buy? The answer may vary depending on the day. Former First Lady Michelle Obama, for example, wore a lot of luxury clothing. During her husband's presidency though, she was photographed boarding Air Force One and making press conferences in Kmart outfits. So if you want to imitate the rich people's habits, ask yourself if that $200 pair of designer jeans is truly worth the cost, or if a $30 cheap shop denim will suffice. These are the money-saving tips that can save you more than $1,000 every month. Always shop wisely, keeping in mind your budget and your goals. Before we go to the next one, I would like to ask you guys, among the things mentioned so far in this video, what are you guilty of the most? 
Are they lottery tickets? Channel subscriptions and video games? Impulsive buying, especially with promos like sales discounts and buy one take ones? Perhaps you bought the latest gadgets even though yours is still working perfectly fine. Or maybe buying extended warranties. Or are you someone with high credit card debts? Or maybe you're the type who buys luxury brands even with the risk of going into debt. Please let us know your answers in the comment section below. While we may be guilty of these things as of time, being aware about it is a good thing as it will be our first step in becoming successful. Number 8. Junk Food This one hits home, but the next time you're out shopping, consider the odds of spotting a billionaire scarfing down kebabs, hamburgers, or french fries from the ready-to-eat area of the supermarket. I'm guessing it's quite unlikely. Rich people are truly fascinated with good foods and will go to great lengths to incorporate it into their diet. You'll be surprised to learn that the most significant difference between a millionaire's daily menu and that of a person with low income is not the cost of products. They eat the same kinds of cereals and vegetables that we mortals do, but in a much cleaner fashion. So instead of buns with your burger, why not just wrap it in lettuce? Number 9. Bank Fees Banks, like many other businesses, demand fees for their services. If you're wondering how you might just avoid these charges, you should think like the rich. Certain accounts are subject to monthly maintenance fees imposed by banks. For the sake of your wealth, avoid such accounts. A good transactional account will suffice and will avoid you the monthly burden of having to pay bank fees you didn't have to pay in the first place. According to the Center for Responsible Lending, America's major banks charged more than $11 billion in overdraft fees alone in 2019. That doesn't even include monthly maintenance costs, ATM fees, and other miscellaneous charges. Number 10. An Overpriced Home it may appear hypocritical given that the wealthy live in the most sumptuous mansions available, but the catch is that they are always on the lookout for bargains. The wealthy always wants to feel as though they are getting the best deals and not being taken advantage of. Yes, they are spending millions, but they'll try to negotiate the list price just like everyone else. Warren Buffett the billionaire businessman still resides in the Omaha, Nebraska home he purchased for $31,500 in 1958. He paid a lot more for his vacation house in Laguna Beach, California, purchasing the 3,588 square foot home for $150,000 in 1971 and selling it in 2018 for $7.47 million. A huge return on investment. The truth is that few homeowners will be as fortunate as Warren Buffett or hold onto their homes for as long, and there is no assurance that a home's value will increase at all. Simply get anything inside your price range and make it work for you. Also, don't forget to haggle. Number 11. Income Taxes Do not avoid paying taxes simply because the rich can. Individuals who make more than $1 million are likely to have workers who are already performing due diligence. Approximately 25% of the wealthiest Americans pay little to no federal income taxes. However, I'm not sure if it's a thing with rich people or if they're simply crafty in how they operate things. This has renewed discussions about the tax system and prompted the IRS inquiry, so the impropriety remains unknown. As we near the end of this list, there are two takeaways about the rich. They know precisely where their money is going, and they know exactly what to do with it. I hope you learned something new here. Thank you for watching this Thrive-tastic video. So if you found it valuable, consider subscribing to our channel and joining our awesome community. And if you're still hungry for more, we handpicked this awesome Thrive-tastic video for you to watch next. 13 Habits of the Rich That Anyone Can Use to Become Wealthy